Hey guys, Tony Ray right here at our Beckwoods Homestead again. And it's been a while uh, since we had our cabin delivered and you saw that video. So now the first step is I'm getting ready to put the flooring in, the vinyl flooring, and then um, we'll get that in and then we've already got the shower and the uh, kitchen area stuff and commode and all that kind of th stuff. And uh, we'll get that put in. But the first thing I need to do, I've prepped the floor so I'm getting ready to put vinyl flooring. It's 100% vinyl. So I'm getting ready to put that in and then I'll show you what that looks like and I'll leave all the materials and everything that we got and the cost uh, in the description below. So I'll be back and I'll get started on that floor. We'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, let's get up in here. Got to get my camera set up. And uh, Boy, it's a beautiful day, 63 degrees in Nashville. So, uh, it's pretty tight squeeze in here. So I've got everything laid out already. That's the shower back there. And then, uh, so I'm gonna start right here at the doorway. So here's the flooring that we got from Lowe's. It's called Smart Core Ultra. And it just uh, locks in place like most of them do. And it's uh, totally 100% waterproof. So that's what we got. I think it's around $57 a box and it covers about, uh, I think it covered uh, about 15 and a half square feet. So, so we're gonna start in this corner right here. And the way that they, you lay this floor in here on most of these, you start in one corner and you work from left to right. This thing is pretty square in here, so I'm hoping that uh, I won't have to do too much fudging. So um, I'm using uh, shims as my um, spacers. They're about a quarter of an inch from the wall. So we're gonna put this first piece in place and see how it looks. And I won't film everything. I'll just put in a couple of pieces here. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna put my spacers up against the two by fours, and then I'm just gonna tape them in place so they don't move around like this. And then I'm gonna use one by fours to, um, for my uh, baseboards. I'm not gonna use regular baseboards because I want it to look rustic. So we're gonna use the uh, one by four pine. And I start with the small edge because this other locking edge will go in here. You put the first row all the way down first. So we'll get, we'll get that in and then we'll go from there. So once you get this first piece uh, in, I'll have to cut this one. And then uh, what I like to do is just measure it. This stuff cuts fairly easy. You want to leave enough a gap over here, three-eighths of an inch or so, and then uh, cut it. Now you can cut this with a, uh, a chop saw, miter saw, but I've done this before with this type of flooring, and uh, actually you can cut it with this knife here. <coughs> just scar it a couple times and just, just do that right there breaks right off. I got the first row down so it's so uh I got a lot of stuff up here so I'm not gonna film every little thing. I'm gonna get a section then I'll show you what it looks like and I want to make sure I got all of this uh this square and then I put about three uh rows here and then this squared up to see what it looks like. It's pretty square. I've already taken my square in the corners and it's pretty square so I'll be back to show you that. I got three rows there. So once I get it where that tape is about right there, I can start moving some of this other stuff over onto the, uh, the new floor. And then once I get this floor down, I'm gonna put a craft paper over it. So that's kind of what it looks like. It looks like it's pretty straight. I didn't pop any lines cause this thing is square. I've already checked it. So I'm gonna get it over here to this other area right here. And then I'll show you again. Not gonna film every little detail. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff I gotta move. So I'm gonna try to at least get half of this floor today. 
and then half tomorrow. So I didn't video all of me putting all this down, but uh, this is what I did. I'll be back. I got almost halfway, so I did stagger everything. So it's looking pretty good, as you can see. Moved everything over here. So I got just about a little over, a book, maybe, I got about halfway to go now, so I'll get to that tomorrow. And it's uh, pretty easy to put in. A um, little bit different from the other floorings that I've had, even though it is vinyl. One thing that really helps is this, uh, is this block right here. Got these at Lowe's. It's just a tapping block. Now you can use a piece of vinyl that you already have. After you cut off a little piece, you can use it like this, but it tears up pretty easy. So uh, everything went down pretty level. I'm, uh, I'm halfway. I got all of my shims right here. I just use regular shims or about a quarter inch on the fat side. And uh, so once we get this flooring in, uh, the next thing to do is that we will get our shot, I mean our uh, electrical done and our framing done here for our shower and uh, toilet area. We have a little sink and a 32 inch uh, shower. We're gonna build an L-shaped wall in there. That'll be the only wall in the whole uh, cabin. And then we'll do um, electrical and then the insulation. And everything else on the walls is gonna be uh, rock wool, sand barrier. Also, it's fireproof. And um, we'll use that pine tongue and groove, six inch. That has gone down, eight foot board now with that uh, tongue and groove was $13 and now it's down to eight. You can get it almost for seven in some places, Home Depot. So there's my flooring, and that is called Blue Ridge Pine from Lowe's. Really good stuff, really durable. So you don't have to put a backing down. You can if you want to put extra cushion and extra insulation. As you can see, I have uh, put uh, tape down, aluminum tape down. It's got a little felt backing on it all over the seams, just to, you know, just so nothing comes in, covers the gaps. This this uh, cabin floor is really, really uh, square. I'm really surprised. This is Amish built. So anyway, guys, I'll see you either tomorrow on the next video. Well, it'll probably be tomorrow. It won't be the next video. This will all be one video. And we'll finish out the rest of this, and I'll clean all this up and take a good look at the floor. So I'll see you then. I don't know if you have these things where you live. We call them horse apples. They're huge. <laughs> you can't eat them. I don't even know what they're good for. But uh, anyway, I was going to show you. So I used about five boxes. Not quite. Yeah, five boxes. And I've got uh, seven boxes left. So there's a little cabin. And we are going to be working on that all through the winter. Hopefully have this up and running and ready to rent around uh, March. So there you go. Okay, guys, this is day two. I'm back. Got a little late start. Had to do some errands. As you can see, that's where we left off yesterday. Almost halfway through. So I'm going to try to go ahead and almost, I might be able to get it all done tonight. Well, it's uh, like uh, two o'clock right now. So we'll see how much I get done. So. It's really looking good. As I showed you yesterday, I got them staggered. And then I came out 30 inches here. And it's about 40 inches here staggered. As you can see where my gaps are. Let me close that door. Hard to see with that door. So I've got about an eight inch I cut about eight inches off each one. Those are about 40, and those are full lengths. So I think I'm just gonna continue that pattern. And uh, it's about 30 inches down here, so I think it looks pretty good. So I'll film a little bit of this on day two, and that's what we got left. 
we got about uh, seven boxes left. We should have plenty. So I'll be back. I'm gonna call it a day. Sun is going down about 6.30. This is the second day. And uh, this is how far I got. I'm not trying to get in a hurry with it. I've got other things I was doing. So this is what I got on the second day. We got it all the way back. That's where the shower is gonna be. I only have about five more rows to do and I'll be done. It's really coming out nicely. And um, so that's about it. And I'll probably finish this up tomorrow. And I'll kind of clean up some of this stuff. And our shower comes Saturday. So we can uh, put it over here in this corner right here. And just kind of set it in there and get an idea how that's going to look. So, uh, mission almost accomplished, guys. So looking forward to getting this finished tomorrow. And then I'll clean up and I'll just show, the, show you the entire floor. And then uh, we'll figure out what's next. So there we go on the flooring. See you tomorrow. Back and uh, one of the things that I like to do when I'm laying vinyl flooring, I've laid it in two, two or three of our rooms in the recording studio. I can't see it over here, but I lay out, I take a box out, a couple of boxes and lay them out and look at the patterns so I don't have it all looking exactly the same. And what I'm trying to do on this entrance way is I'm trying to get these rich looking pieces without the gray. You might can see that right here. See how it's got that little gray look to it, that the old board look. And this one's a little bit richer. So I'm trying to get some of this up front and then I'm gonna start staggering. Okay guys, I'm gonna call it a day. Sun is going down about 6.30. This is the second day. And uh, this is how far I got. I'm not trying to get in a hurry with it. I've got other things I was doing. So this is what I got on the second day. We got it all the way back. That's where the shower is gonna be. I only have about five more rows to do and I'll be done. It's really coming out nicely. And um, so that's about it. And I'll probably finish this up tomorrow and I'll kind of clean up some of this stuff and our shower comes Saturday. So we can uh, put it over here in this corner right here and just kind of set it in there and get an idea how that's gonna look. So, uh, mission almost accomplished, guys. So looking forward to getting this finished tomorrow and then I'll clean up and I'll just show, the, show you the entire floor. And then uh, we'll figure out what's next. 
So there we go on the flooring. See you tomorrow. Here I am, uh, day three. So we're almost done with this floor. I'll turn the camera around here in a minute and show you. So I'm almost done and uh, then I'm gonna clean up everything cause my shower comes tomorrow. So we can get it in here and get it out uh, off the porch. And so let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we're gonna do to finish up. So there we go. As you saw yesterday, I left off right here. It wouldn't have taken me three days, but I had other things going on. So I was just trying to do a little bit at a time. Probably could have finished it in one full day, but only put in like three hours one day and then three hours yesterday. So I got about three and a half hours to work on it today. So we'll get that done. I'll film a little bit of it and then show you. I'll try to clear out some of this mess. So I think I'm gonna come out just right. I might have a box left over that I may take back. So I'll see you in a minute. So let's start on this one piece here and get this put in. I already got it cut. So easy to cut, very easy to cut. <sighs> Pop it in. I'm getting down to the wire now. I've got about one row, as you can see in that piece right there. And I've got one row to go. I'm gonna have a little bit, but I think my baseboard's gonna cover it. I almost come out just right, but I've got room to put it in. So once I get that in, I'll do an overview of the floor and then uh, we'll end this video. This is the last piece. I just got to knock it in a little bit. Last piece. So it's got to make sure it's all in there. So what we have, as you can see, there is a gap right there, but I'm not going to cut a small little piece because this is two. That's a, that's a one by eight. But we're going to put one by fours, so you can see the one by four is gonna cover that up perfect. Look at that. And then I may put shoe molding there, so I'm not gonna worry about cutting a piece. What I might do uh, is take just a little bit of glue and glue that right there because that's not up against anything. But look, that's not going anywhere. It's all snapped in, so there we go. Finished the floor, about two and a half days. We're on our third day, but this only took about two hours to finish it up. So, can you see me? <laughs> so I'll be back to wrap this video up and I'm gonna clean up a little bit and show you the floor. We'll see you in a minute. I'm trying to get a shot of everything. I'm right at the front door, so it's hard to get the entire thing. So I'm just gonna give you an overview so uh, this is the end of the video and there is the flooring and that's all the tools that I used right there. And uh, I'll leave the description below in that little block and uh, of course shims are pretty simple, but I'll leave the pricing and what it costs to do it and what the square footage was. So uh, we were right up under 200 square feet and uh, it came out really well. 
So I got all this cleaned up because tomorrow our shower comes in and I'm gonna just set it in there so we can get an idea of where to build our wall because we'll have a wall starting about right, right here. And then uh, it'll come out to about right here and go to this wall and then there'll be a door here into the bathroom. So I'm really happy with this product. I'm really happy with how it came out and the look of it. And uh, we just ordered a, a little small love seat recliner today. So it's gonna be buckskin looking. Well, not buckskin, but kind of a uh, brownish, leatherish look. Leatherish, what a word. So, uh, that's the flooring, and it is Smart Core Ultra from Lowe's. So one project down, that's the first thing that I've done to the, uh, to the little cabin. So the next thing is going to be um, putting the shower in and putting the insulation in, and then Patty's going to wire uh, the fan in and all that kind of stuff, and then we'll be able to uh, go from there. We still have to stub in our plumbing, and it's all going to be on one side. The little sink is going to be about right here, small sink. And we'll stub in pecs and get all that stubbed in and ran. I'm just going to have a plumber friend of mine do it for me because I don't want to mess with it. So I'll be back to wrap the video up and see you in a minute. Uh, got the flooring finished. That was our first project on the little cabin. And uh, we'll be doing other videos. There'll be, uh, I don't know, maybe five or six videos. We got a shower to put in, plumbing to get in, toilet. I've got the little kitchenette to build. And we got some wiring, we've got insulation, and then we'll be doing tongue and groove pine all the way up. And uh, we're gonna put in a window, so it's gonna take a while. So we'll be working on this project probably all the way through the winter. And hopefully if it, I wanted to get the floor in because when it gets cold, this floor is hard to put in. So it's, uh, this is perfect timing. It's like 57, 60 degrees today. So as always, thanks for joining us. This is Tony Ray and Patty from our Backwoods Homestead. We'll see you on the next video.